Millie Molly Mandy. Millie Molly Mandy goes errands. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She had a father and a mother and a grandpa and a grandma and an uncle and an auntie. And they all lived together in a nice white cottage with a thatched roof. This little girl had short hair and short legs and short frocks, pink and white striped cotton in summer and red serge in winter. But her name wasn't short at all. It was Millicent Margaret Amanda. But father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie couldn't very well call out Millicent Margaret Amanda every time they wanted her, so they shortened it to Millie Molly Mandy which is quite easy to say. Now everybody in the nice white cottage with a thatched roof had some particular job to do, even Millie Molly Mandy. Father grew vegetables in the big garden by the cottage. Mother cooked the dinners and did the washing. Grandpa took the vegetables to market in his little pony cart. Grandma knitted socks and mittens and nice warm woolies for them all. Uncle kept cows to give them milk and chickens to give them eggs. Auntie sewed frocks and shirts for them and did the sweeping and dusting. And Millie Molly Mandy, what did she do? Well, Millie Molly Mandy's legs were short, as I've told you, but they were very lively, just right for running errands. So Millie Molly Mandy was quite busy fetching and carrying things and taking messages. One fine day, Millie Molly Mandy was in the garden playing with Toby the dog when father poked his head out from the other side of a big row of beans and said, Millie Molly Mandy, run down to Mr. Mog's cottage and ask for the trowel he borrowed from me. So Millie Molly Mandy said, Yes, father, and ran in to get her hat. At the kitchen door was mother with a basket of eggs in her hand, and when she saw Millie Molly Mandy, she said, Millie Molly Mandy, run down to Mrs. Moggs and give her these eggs. She's got visitors. So Millie Molly Mandy said, Yes, mother, and took the basket. Trowel for father, eggs for mother, she thought to herself. Then Grandpa came up and said, Millie Molly Mandy, please get me a ball of string from Miss Muggins' shop. Here's a penny. So Millie Molly Mandy said, Yes, Grandpa and took the penny, thinking to herself, trowel for father, eggs for mother, string for grandpa. And she passed through the kitchen. As she passed through the kitchen, Grandma, who was sitting in her armchair knitting, said, Millie Molly Mandy, will you get me a skein of red wool? Here's a sixpence. So Millie Molly Mandy said, yes, Grandma, and took the sixpence. Trowel for father, Eggs for her mother, string for grandpa, red wool for grandma, she whispered over to herself. As she went into the passage, Uncle came striding up in a hurry. Oh, Millie Molly Mandy, said Uncle, run like a good girl to Mr. Blunt's shop and tell him I'm waiting for the chicken feed he promised to send. So Millie Molly Mandy said, yes, Uncle, and thought to herself, trowel for father, eggs for mother, string for grandpa, red wool for grandma, chicken feed for uncle. As she got her hat off the peg, Auntie called from the parlor where she was dusting. Is that Millie Molly Mandy? Will you get me a packet of needles, dear? Here's a penny. So Millie Molly Mandy said, yes, Auntie, and took the penny thinking to herself, trowel for father, eggs for mother, string for grandpa, red wool for grandma, chicken feed for uncle, needles for auntie, and I do hope there won't be anything more. But there was nothing else, so Millie Molly Mandy started out down the path. When she came to the gate, Toby the dog capered up, looking very excited at the thought of a walk. But Millie Molly Mandy eyed him solemnly and said, Trowel for father, 
eggs for mother, string for grandpa, red wool for grandma, chicken feed for uncle, and needles for auntie. No, Toby, you mustn't come now. I've too much to think about, but I promise to take you for a walk when I come back. So she left Toby on the other side of the gate and set off down the road with the basket and the pennies and the sixpence. Presently, she met a little friend, and the little friend said, Hello, Molly, Millie, Molly, Mandy. I've got a new seesaw. Do you come on it with me? But Millie, Molly, Mandy looked at her solemnly and said, Trowel for father, eggs for mother, string for grandpa, red wool for grandma, chicken feed for uncle, needles for auntie. No, no, Susan, I can't come now. I'm busy, but I'd like to come when I get back after I've taken Toby for a walk. So Millie Molly Mandy went on her way with the basket and the pennies and the sixpence. Soon she came to the Moggs' cottage. Please, Mrs. Moggs, can I have the trowel for father? And here are some eggs from mother, she said. Mrs. Moggs was very much obliged indeed for the eggs and fetched the trowel and a piece of seed cake for Millie Molly Mandy's own self. And Millie Molly Mandy went on her way with the empty basket. Next, she came to Miss Muggins' little shop. Please, Miss Muggins, can I have a ball of string for Grandpa and a skein of red wool for Grandma? So Miss Muggins put the string and the wool into Millie Molly Mandy's basket and took a penny and a sixpence in exchange. So that left Millie Molly Mandy with one penny. And Millie Molly Mandy couldn't remember what that penny was for. Sweeties, perhaps? said Miss Muggins, glancing at the row of glass bottles on the shelf. But Millie Molly Mandy shook her head. No, she said, and it can't be for chicken feed for Uncle because that would be more than a penny, only I have, haven't have got to pay for it. It must be sweeties, said Miss Muggins. No, said Millie Molly Mandy, but I'll remember soon. Good morning, Mrs. Muggins. So Millie Molly Mandy went on to Mr. Blunt's and gave him Uncle's message. And then she sat down on the doorstep and thought what that penny could be for. And she couldn't remember. But she remembered one thing. It's for Auntie, she thought. And I love Auntie. And she, and she thought for just a little while longer. Then suddenly she sprang up and went back to Miss Muggins' shop. I've remembered, she said. It's needles for Auntie. So Miss Muggins put the packet of needles into the basket and took the penny, and Millie Molly Mandy set off for home. That's a good little messenger to remember all those things, said Mother when she got there. They were just going to begin dinner. I thought you were only going with my eggs. She went for my trowel, said Father. And my string, said Grandpa. And my wool, said Grandma. And my chicken feed, said Uncle. And my needles, said Auntie. Then they all laughed, and Grandpa, feeling in his pocket, said, Well, here's another errand for you. Go and get yourself some sweeties. So after dinner, Toby had a nice walk, and his mistress got her sweets. And then Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan had a lovely time on the seesaw, chatting and eating raspberry drops and feeling very happy and contented indeed. I want to show you the picture of Millie Molly Mandy's family. You can see who everybody is. Mother, father, uncle, auntie, grandma, grandpa, and Millie, Molly, Mandy. Thank you for listening.